I'm joined by Mark Snyderman, manager of the Fidelity Real Estate Income Fund. Mark, how do you see commercial property values right now? I think commercial property values have enjoyed a tremendous run over the last uh, bunch of years. And I feel like they're at a level where they're probably going to be stable from here. Not likely to go up as they have in the past, but probably not so likely to go down. I think supply and demand are in reasonable balance overall. And I think uh, the valuation as you compare it to other things out there is fair. It's good to own real estate, but it's not cheap, but it's not rich. And are there any particular REIT sectors that look especially attractive to you right now? Let me first describe what I do, which is a little different than other people, then I'll go into sectors. I manage a fund that does real estate stocks and bonds and everything in between. We do common stocks, it's about 30% of the fund. We do preferred stocks, uh, somewhat less than that. We do uh, bonds of all kinds of real estate oriented companies and we also invest in CMBS. By doing this mix, the fund gets better yield than traditional stock funds and significantly less volatility, less risk because we have more senior instruments. So it's an interesting alternative uh, that we provide for investors. So in my job, I'm not only looking at common stocks, I'm looking at all the other kinds of instruments issued by, by these companies. Um, I think as you look across the spectrum, um, Recently, some of the more debt-oriented instruments have gotten cheaper post-election uh, and, and more broadly across the year. But I think in, in property types on the equity side, I'd say some of the uh, healthcare-oriented uh, property-owning companies have, have gotten cheap, and uh, that's something I'm, I'm revisiting. Um, I also think about real estate very broadly, so I think uh, I do look at mortgage REITs as well. Some of them are, them are cheap. Uh, and I think a few of the more technology-oriented things have gotten uh, cheaper lately uh, as well. What are going to be some of the big factors that you're looking at in 2017? I, I like to look at the fundamentals of supply and demand. So a question 17 for 17 is how will demand be changing, if at all, based on the political landscape. Uh, but I don't, I don't care so much about quarter to quarter change. I care about longer term. I'm, I tend to look at things in the three to five year time frames because I think that's the way we, we can do the best. So if there's broad changes that will affect things across uh, three to five years, then, then that might shift a little bit how, how we invest. I, I'm in general, uh, for the money I manage, I'm low turnover. So that's turnover in the 20s per year. So we always want to see how the arc of time if, is shifting and how things might shift for the longer haul. So I'll watch some of those. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mark. I appreciate it. Sure. Thank you. And for more on this and other real estate news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.